The NBA has seen its fair share of legends, but Luka Doncic might just be on his way to dethrone them all. Taking inspiration from players like Kobe Bryant and Dirk Nowitzki, Doncic has managed to carve out a league of his own in the game. But is he really the NBA's most dangerous post-op player? Stay tuned as we talk about all of this and more in this video. First up, how dangerous is Luka Doncic? According to official stats from the NBA, Luka Doncic currently has a near-perfect score in every game that he plays. Averaging 4.9 points per game, Doncic has made quite the comeback from last season, where his score was a mere 2.4. Not only is that a personal record for him, but it also earns him one of the highest marks in the league. So, despite still being at the beginning of his career, Luka's score has earned him a spot in the same category as seasoned plates, like Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, which is a pretty remarkable feat for the 23-year-old athlete. The reason why he has managed to achieve all of this is because of his low post offense. While scoring with his back to the rim, Doncic is ranked in the 71st percentile, with a grand total of 1.07 points per possession, which isn't an easy number to achieve in the game. To make things easier to understand, Doncic's post plays are actually more valuable than LeBron James. John Morant and Klay Thompson combined, followed by Luka's isolation game. According to Mavericks player development coach God Shamgod, Luka's imagination is on a whole other level when he's playing the game. This isn't the first time the athlete has been praised for his almost artistic approach to basketball, with Mavs coach Jason Kidd previously comparing him to Picasso at the beginning of last season. While Doncic was pretty successful before he entered the 20 2018 draft, NBA executives still wondered whether he had it in him to become a superstar in the league. Of course, he proved everyone wrong and isolated on 1,027 plays last season, helping the Mavericks go up to an average of 1.098 points on his possessions solely. From his dribbling to his footwork, Doncic is efficient like no other player. He can shoot beyond the three-point arc, in the mid-range, and even around the rim, making him one of the most powerful covers in the whole league. Let's talk about Doncic going into beast mode. Speaking of the player's technique, Luka definitely owes his success to his strength. With his incredible size and build of 6 foot 7 and 230 pounds, the athlete has been able to give tough competition to nearly all of his opponents. Guarding him is anything but easy, because not only does he have a whole lot of strength, but he also knows how to use it to his advantage. So, if an opponent is considerably smaller than him in size, it doesn't take Doncic long to go into beast mode. Once he makes his way to the basket, everyone knows that it's pretty much over for them. Why? Well, only because he is one of the best finishers at the rim ever since the beginning of his career in the NBA. And with time, he only seems to be getting stronger. The current Mavericks team actually has the best offensive rating in NBA history, and it's all thanks to their best player, Doncic, who's only in his second ever season. By the way, next up, borrowing inspiration from the legends. A player this great must have his own motivations, right? As far as Doncic is concerned, he wants to learn from the best in the game, which is why he has spent most of his life watching players like Kobe or Nowitzki move on the courts and use their bodies as their ultimate defense. In the process, he has managed to borrow some some of their signature basketball moves, such as drawing and selling fouls. And while Doncic is nowhere near as large as Nowitzki or as muscular as Bryant, he has nailed down their strategies in the game like no other, putting his own little spin on them all. Not to mention that he's also one of the greatest passers in the league, making him a real nightmare for all kinds of defenders. The man almost never commits a turnover and can pretty much score against anyone in the book. Who knows what other tricks he might have up his sleeve as the season progresses. Lastly, Luka becomes one of the best finishers in the NBA. Luka Doncic's shooting percentage in the restricted area this season is 72.8. Now, let's talk about why that is a pretty great number. The truth is that Doncic 
has been a more efficient finisher than most other names in the league this time around. The only players who have come out on top of him include legends like Antetokounmpo, Anthony Davis, and John Collins. But even in a list like this, Doncic has managed to hold his own at the rim. According to a scouting report, Doncic has an amazing floater game and can even elevate for dunks in transition. This means that while he's not on the top quite yet, he is definitely on his way to becoming a top end finisher in the NBA. Using his body as a shield against his defenders, Doncic is too powerful for most point and shooting guards, especially when he's anywhere near the paint. Even the strongest power forwards and centers have a tough time staying in front of him, which means that the only players who really have a shot against him in the game are seasoned legends. Moving on, let's talk about the Mavericks' dependency on Luka Doncic's MVP level production. It comes as no surprise that Doncic is currently one of the best players on the Mavericks roster. The truth is that Doncic has pretty much carried the Mavericks throughout the season. This way, the franchise exceeded quite a lot of expectations and was able to achieve victories that no one could have seen coming, not even head coach Jason Kidd. But it seems like all of that might come crashing down pretty soon. Why? Well, because at this rate, the Mavericks are going to exhaust all of Doncic's strength. If they're not careful enough, Doncic won't even be able to carry himself, let alone the team, because he would have used up all his strength. Now, that's a lot of responsibility for a 23-year-old who's only in his second season at the moment. And even Kidd has agreed that the success might be great, but at this rate, it definitely isn't worth it, especially since it's never going to last. Moving on, what does Kidd have to say? According to Coach Kidd, it's next to impossible for Luka to keep the momentum going for all 82 games of the season. The usage is just way too high, said Kidd in an interview with Yahoo Sports, and let's just say that it isn't fair on the athlete as well. The things that the team has asked of him on both the offense and defense are just way too much for one person to handle. In the first three months of the season, Doncic averaged over 30 points per game. This led to him pulling up at least 40 points in five matchups so far. It wasn't until the athlete missed a game in November against the Houston Rockets that it all started to fall apart, and Kidd, along with everyone watching, realized how much the team needed Doncic to stay afloat. What's really unfortunate is that the team just doesn't have the right players to team up with Doncic. In fact, the Mavericks don't even have a full 15-man roster that they can work with in case Doncic needs a break or is injured. According to Kristaps Porzingis, who was previously part of the Mavs, in order to get the maximum out of Doncic, you need to put the perfect team around him. Porzingis also went on to talk about how he was traded because he simply wasn't the right guy. But it looks like the Mavericks are still having trouble putting together the perfect squad. Lastly, what does the future hold for the Mavs? As the trade deadline gets closer and closer, the Mavericks now have to make all the right decisions. According to experts, the future of the Mavericks depends on the team looking for players who can complement Doncic's plays and replace him when needed. For now, they've tried to make it work with players like Facundo Campazzo, and that has been a major failure since the athlete was playing in a position that he just wasn't meant for. This led the fans to question whether building a team around Doncic really is the right call at this point. According to Kidd, the inconsistent is a major issue that the team has been trying to work on, and for now, they're working on figuring out how Doncic would handle playing with another ball-dominant player. So far, Tim Hardaway Jr. has proven to be quite the asset, averaging 23.3 points in the game against Golden State. Kidd has also brought in Christian Wood through trade, but he's been struggling on the defense, and as we all know, defense is and always will be a priority for Kidd. For now, the fans are hopeful that the Mavs will be able to bring in someone who can play off of Doncic while also being a good enough shot creator. Until that happens, the future of the franchise is a little shaky. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Doncic's success in the NBA so far? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos just like this. We'll see you next time. Bye!